Yo, what's going on guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in another video today. And today we're going to be talking about if the Astros should be re-signing Michael Brantley. Um, you know, this this is unfair when, with baseball. You know, not even uh, a couple hours um, after the parade, we're looking into three days and free agency starts. Uh, these guys do not. Some of these Astros that are free agents like Yuli and Brantley and Mancini and... Um, Maldonado, Vasquez, all the other free agents, Verlander, they they do not get some time off. They want they go straight into free agency. Uh, but one of those free agents for the Astros is Michael Brantley, and we're going to be talking about the Astros to re-sign him. Um, you know, Brantley, who had an injury at the end of the season, or not the end of the season, um, only played 64 games this year, got hurt in like August or or at the end of, in the, at the end of July. So missed the last, uh, missed the end of July, missed the whole August, and missed the whole September. So, uh, Brantley, who who only played sixty four games this year, had five home runs and twenty seven RBIs. Um, that would have been way up if he if if he played the whole season. In two thousand twenty one, he had eight home runs and forty seven RBIs. And he was an all-star that year. The year before, in 2020, he had 22 home runs and 70 RBIs. No, it was at 2019. That was 2019. He had 22 home runs and 70 RBIs. And he also had a good year in 2020. So, um, you know, Michael Brantley has been a good piece for this Astros roster. And the only thing is, like, that we got so much, like, with Jordan and Tucker. Um, do we re-sign him? I, I do want to see the Astros bring back Brantley. Not so long term deal. I I don't no longer than one to two year deal. The Astros last time when they re signed him, they brought him back to a two year deal. I think most likely the Astros bring him back. Um if he if he re signs, I think most likely the Astros re sign him on a one year deal. Um to try to just try to get another championship. I don't think the Astros would sign him um to more than a one year deal, maybe a two year deal. Um it's not going to be as much as we had to pay him because of his injury, so that's kind of good. His contract's not going to have to be that high as what it was last time when we paid him, but I think Michael Brantley is a big piece of this Astros team. He's a good hitter. He's a he's a great hitter. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't you probably listen to his home run numbers. He doesn't he doesn't give you the best. He doesn't he doesn't always um he doesn't he doesn't really hit a lot of home runs, but that's like who cares? I mean, this guy, I don't know if it was 2019 or if it was 2021, but he hit 45 doubles in a season. He's great at that stuff, getting singles, getting doubles. Brantley, and his batting average, too. This year was 288. It was a little lower, but, I mean, his batting average 2021 was absolutely inv uh, unbelievable. He had the best batting average in the MLB, the whole MLB. So I think it is mandatory for the Astros to re-sign Brantley. Um and that lineup, if you re-sign Brantley, you got the, the the beginning of the order. You got Altuve, you got Pena, you got Brantley. Then Bregman and Alvarez, either one, and then you got Tucker. We're not gonna go with with the rest of the with the rest of the order because you know that that can that is to be to be determined with free agents like Yuli, uh, Mancini, Vasquez, and um, and Maldonado. So we don't know who's gonna be in in those final spots from seven to nine. Um, so. Yeah, that's what I think. I think we need to re-sign Brantley because he's been a big piece of our team since 2019. And even though he's starting to grow in age, he's 35 years old. Um, and I, I think if he re-signs with the Astros, I think this would be the, his last year with the team. But I think for his best interest and for the Astros' best interest, I think if you re-sign Brantley, it makes the team, the Astros team, just, just even more scarier. Uh, with now how, because when Brantley, when Brantley was last with the Astros, Pena was not as good as how he is now. Yeah, Pena was playing good when Brantley before Brantley got hurt, but he wasn't playing as good as he is now. So I mean, the Astros they got they got with Brantley they'd be even better. Um, but you know if he walks he walks. Uh, he's not gonna retire, but um. But if he walks, he walks. He's This is the best place for him to be, though. So, yeah, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And let me know what you think about re-signing Michael Brantley. What do you think will happen there? And peace out. Go Strohs.